Hey, my name is Kat, and I love J. Ross TV. What's up, everybody? It's your boy J. Ross hanging out the bistro with Miguel Cat in town, y'all. But what y'all might not know is Cat is a professional saxophone player for nobody but Beyonce. <laughs> and hey, today is her birthday, y'all. So say happy birthday to her on <laughs> Facebook and YouTube and all that. But since I got Cat, I always wanted to ask her. Uh, when you were growing up, were you always musically inclined or did it come at a later age? No, my dad always pushed me to do music and um, he, he actually played in the band just like a hobby, but he always pushed me. He was like, look, you got to play. And I wanted to dance and sing. He was like, your voice is too raspy and I don't want you to dance, so you need to play. <laughs> so now, you guys travel all around the world and I know uh, young kids come up to you all the time. And, uh, so, if, and to encourage young girls coming up, Tell them about your practice regimen and the routines you have to go through to prepare yourself for this type of success. Wow, well, um, first you've got to know what you want, what your, what your goal is. Like I wanted to be a saxophone player for a long time, that's all I wanted. So I went to LaGuardia High School Performing Arts and did that and just focused in high school and I, and I got into every program that I could. The big band jazz uh, with Bob Stewart, I did the All City in New York. Um, and I, just, I went around at the age of 15 doing North Sea Jazz Festival, Mon Monterey Jazz Festival with Where Hard Grow. So just basically focus on what you want to do and you have to take the steps. You got to go to a school that, that, that you do or you got to you gotta enroll yourself in a program. But uh, back to it like you were saying and making preparations for, for success, you went through all the different training, you went to college and all this. Mm -hmm. Then what? What happens after that? Then. You base well for me. I got pregnant. I got married before, but I'm not saying you need to do that. <laughs> Definitely take your time and doing your personal stuff, but always know what you want to do when it comes to your, your your success and to your profession. You know, after that, start looking for auditions. I auditioned for the Beyonce, um, and it was a thousand of us or, or more. And out of a thousand, she took ten. And I'm one of the ten. Praise so, God. That, exactly. Praise God. Um, so just look for auditions. Look for everything that you, every opportunity that there, there's out there, you have to go and grab it. Because no one is going to come to you and give it to you. You got to go out there and grab it. Auditions, do all the sessions that you can. Go sit in with people. Talk to people. Let them know what you do. Because if someone doesn't know what you do, they're not going to call you. That's right. Hey, y'all, once again, we in St. Louis, Jazz at the Bistro with my girl yeah. Kat, uh, saxophone player. Hey, in town, her husband. You, for y'all that don't know, it's St. Louis and Keon Hurl. That's right. Trumpet virtuoso with Maxwell, but he's got his own quartet, and they are putting it down, y'all. Check out. Well, tell me about the new CD real quick and all that. Oh, my God. Keon Harold has introducing Keon Harold, and it's featuring Charles Tolliver, the Strickland Brothers, Danny Brissett, um, Emmanuel Harold, and the CD is the bomb. You gotta hear it. It's swinging. It's grooving. It's everything. You, if you want to check out the hottest trumpet player in town, it's not because he's my husband. The hottest, Marcellus said it. He's one of the best up and coming trumpet players in town. Go and check out Keon Allen. All right, y'all. That's J. Ross TV. We out of here, y'all. Peace. Peace.